everyone and welcome back to my channel. So you're probably wondering what on earth is going on with my eye makeup because I've got totally different looks going on here and they're both of them are pretty out there. Well, I'm going to be testing out a brand today that I've heard so much about. So many people talking about Juvia's Place and how these eyeshadows are so amazing and I wanted to try it out and see if the hype is worth it, if these are really as good as everyone says they are. So actually during Black Friday, which was a while back obviously, um, I placed an order because they were having a, a big sale. The sale is still ongoing. The prices for the palettes that I'm gonna show you are still the same as what I paid um, on Black Friday. So I ordered these two palettes. I'm gonna be doing two totally different looks with these. I'm really just trying to test out as many colors as possible, so that's why this look is kind of maybe even clashing and you know I probably wouldn't be putting this many different colors on my eye at the get-go but I just wanted to try out as many different shadows from these palettes as possible so I have here the Saharan palette this is the volume one and then I have the masquerade palette and this is the mini for some palettes they have like the full size and then they have a mini version but the funny thing is they're like the same size the full size or the big palette, the, just the eyeshadows will be much bigger. For me, this is plenty. I'll probably never even use up these shadows. These were not sent to me. I am in no way affiliated with Juvia's Place. Like they don't even know I'm making this video. I ordered there as a regular customer. I just used a discount code that I Googled from somebody else. So I don't have like a discount code for you guys. And I will talk a little bit about customer service and stuff. The Masquerade palette. I liked how this is like a combination of really bright, fun, intense colors on the top like you have eight really bright colors and on the bottom it's eight sort of more neutral natural shades there's definitely some strong colors in the neutrals as well like there's this kind of I don't know like orangey brown and like a, a, a gold and so they're not like they're not just bland nudes you know like they're nice nudes this Shade really was what sold me on this palette, the Makita or Makeda, um, because it's just such a bright purple and I don't know, like purple just always catches my eye. And the Saharan palette looks like this. 12 eyeshadows in here, they're the same pan size as the Mini Masquerade. And I really liked the color spectrum in here. Warm shades, and then you have this like intense green. There's a black in here. I find that very useful. Yeah, I really like this color spectrum. It just really spoke to me. Obviously, it's going along with that warm trend that has been so prevalent. It's really bright. Like the warms in here are no joke like bright orange and like bright gold. The Masquerade palette comes with 16 eyeshadows and it's a combination of matte shades and uh, shimmery shades. Now the shimmery shades are pretty much all the same kind of formula. There is one shade in here, Cairo, which has kind of a glittery texture, but other than that, the rest of the shimmery shades are all just like frosts, and then the mattes are matte, obviously. This again has a combination of matte shades and frosts. They have this kind of um, cardboard packaging, it's like hard cardboard. Juvia's Place is actually a black owned beauty brand um, and I think a lot of the references from the palette names and stuff are like African inspired, which I th actually think is really cool. What I will say about the packaging is that it doesn't have a mirror. It would have been nice to have a mirror in here, um, especially for traveling, I always find that very convenient. Now I did want to talk briefly about customer service. I ordered these palettes on November 20th, like just before, actually it was just before Thanksgiving already put up a sale so I guess a lot of people already started shopping their sale the actual palette was not shipped out until December 4th that's two full weeks until the palette was shipped and honestly I feel like two weeks for them to ship out a palette is too long I do realize that you know it was their sale maybe they were hit with like a ton of orders so they were you know trying to fill all the orders I do feel like two weeks is a long time because I did order other things around Black Friday and they all arrived much faster than this palette. I live in Switzerland so it did take a while to get here. The package was delivered with DHL on December 12th. Uh, the shipping was ex inexpensive for 
you know, crossing an ocean. Usually shipping can be quite expensive. Um, the shipping I paid 10 US dollars. And because I stayed under a certain limit, I actually did not have to pay duties. But, you know, depending on whatever country you live in, you might have to pay duties. I think they maybe should have shipped it out a bit faster. You know, whatever. I'm not like dying for makeup. I've got a ton of stuff that I can use in the meantime. And it's not like my order never came. It did finally get there. But to those of you who live in Europe and who want this palette like immediately, then just know their shipping is a bit slower but everything else was fine I mean I didn't have any correspondence with them I paid uh, with PayPal I think for each eye I'm going to be using one of these palettes and I'm going to try to use as many colors as I can I know these looks are probably pretty crazy but you know I just want to test out the quality of the shadows this was really just about trying out as many colors as possible on one eye in one go all right so let's get started so the first shade I'm gonna go in with is this one here this one's called Katsina and it's like a medium brown tone that looks like it would be a good sort of blending color. Now the only thing I have on the Urban Decay Primer Potion. So the pigmentation, now this one I have to say this is a matte shade. Now the pigmentation on this one is not like crazy blowing my socks off but it is very buildable. That actually doesn't look bad. So I like the color. It's kind of like a nice neutral good transition shade. Jamila which is this very bright orange Kind of build up the outer crease. I'm not getting any fallout so far, which is like very cool. And then I'm gonna go in with this crazy awesome color called Sokoto. Sokoto? Whoa. Yeah, that is an intense shade. That one is really pigmented. Senegal right here. Now this is one of the shimmer ones. Yeah, the pigmentation on this is really good. Okay, I'm getting a little bit of fallout here on the lower. Try and flick that away. Modabe. That's a really cool shade right there. Whoa, okay, that is really pigmented. It's like a really, really intense gold shade. That kind of actually reminds me of Trophy Wife by Fenty Beauty. I did go and I looked at the Fenty stuff and it just honestly nothing really interested me from that brand. You guys like honestly if I'm just thinking back to the review that I did recently or recently that I did a while back on the Anastasia the subculture. This works better than the subculture palette. I mean that's not really setting the bar very high because the subculture palette absolutely sucked but you know just from a sort of price standpoint this is like cheaper than the subculture and it works better i think i'm gonna go in with this shade called kia i do want to test out this color just because from this palette it's the one color that's like really different okay it's not actually applying very green i think this particular shade would look better if i put like a green pencil or something underneath this one's actually not that pig pigmented for some reason okay this one i'm like not blown away by. Also, this one is a little bit dusty, so I now have eyeshadow in my eyelid. Let me just see if I can remove that because that often really irritates my eye. Like if I use like a green cold pencil underneath and then use this on top, like I'm sure it will look really cool. I'm just going to try and pull this up here. Iman, which is this shimmery white shade. You know, I think with a palette like this, I probably wouldn't use as many colors as possible on my eye. Like I would really just kind of go for maybe one or two signature shades in here and then maybe combine them with more nude shades. So this one is really, really white, like really reflective. It's almost like a, a silvery white. For fair skin tones, there isn't really a highlight in here. So I mean, I could use Iman, which is the white, but that's really stark white. Like I don't want a dazzling white shadow underneath my eyebrows. For fair skin tones, like you will have to use another highlighter in here, although I think maybe for darker skin tones, like maybe you could use even this one. It's kind of like a rose gold shade, like that would actually look really pretty on the brow bone if you have dark skin. So let's just put this one aside and move on to the other palette that I purchased, which is the um, Masquerade Mini. This is Burkina. Anyway, I want to do a little bit more of a purple look, like the purples. Like actually this palette really appealed to me because of the purples in there. So actually that color, like I just wanted to do a light wash. Um, I'm using like a really broad brush. This is the Sigma E40. And actually that blended out really 
just to a lighter shade. So I just use like a tiny bit and just blended it out. What I've noticed is that when you first apply the matte shades is that they do apply a little bit patchy, but you just have to work it over and like go over and over it again. And then they are very smooth. So it's not one of those hideous eyeshadows that blends away into nothing. <laughs> Hello subculture palette. Um, the more you blend the smoother it gets. So at first it did apply the matte shade kind of like chunky Kind of uneven like there was just like a bit of color there But now that I'm kind of keep blending it's it looks really soft, but I'm gonna do a deeper transition with this one Zobo Pinky purple shade. This is matte. Whoa major pigment Again, first stroke, it just looks very patchy and uneven with the mattes. So the mattes are not the um, most like even formula. Like if I have to compare to other more higher end mattes, like Makeup Forever Artist shadows, or my beloved Vizart palettes, which you guys know I love and I always compare matte eyeshadows to. It's like these ones just require a bit more work, but they aren't as fluffy and chalky as the recent Anastasia palettes. You just need to put in a little bit more effort with the mattes. The creamy ones are a lot easier to work with. My favorite color in this palette, just from the looks, um, and it's Makita or Makeda. Oh my God. Oh my God, you guys, this color is gorgeous. Okay, and then I'm going to grab this color, which is right beside, this is Chi, or just above, I mean, it's called Chi. Okay, I'm getting a little bit of fallout with these. They're like creamy and pigmented. There is a little bit of fallout though. Okay, so maybe for that halo eye to be a little bit more effective, I would have to use like a slightly darker color here and here, just because those two colors are very similar. Like there's not a huge differentiation between those two. So I realized there's like a lot, like close up, there's quite a, there was quite a lot of fallout on this side. I think it's just because Maybe the colors are darker, I'm not really sure why. Well, usually if I use these, you know, really bold shadows, I would just do my eye makeup first and then, you know, then do the foundation, all that. So then you can, you know, after you have fallout, you just use a, a like a makeup wipe and clean it off. So I'm gonna go in with this one, which is called Calabar. I know it's gonna look really weird with what I have on at the top, but yeah, this is really like a warm rust shade. This one is super pigmented. This is, this is applying much nicer than that. Um, green shade that I did over here. So that one is working really nice. Maybe if you guys want to do, if you want me to see like a proper look, then maybe I can actually like do a proper look using one of these palettes because this looks a bit ridiculous. Okay, and then I'm gonna do Giza over here. This one has, again, a strong shimmer to it. So I probably wouldn't apply it over the whole brow. That's a really bright inner corner highlight. Like that even definitely shows up on my skin tone because often what I have is that these highlighty shades, like inner corner highlight, they don't even really show up on my skin because they're usually like my skin tone so this one definitely shows up like that's actually kind of crazy all right guys so i have just quickly finished up the looks well <laughs> let's be honest this is probably not how i would combine these colors i think the color colors are very vibrant like now that i look at it really close like they're very very vibrant overall i have to say i was pretty um surprised at these palettes like i mean not super surprised because i'd heard from a lot of people that you know they're really nicely pigmented and that they blend well and stuff like that do i think they are absolutely the best eyeshadows ever. No, I do not. The shimmery, frosty shades perform better than the mattes. The mattes are not as pigmented. They're a little bit drier in texture and you need to work with them. You need to just blend them a little bit longer to really get a smooth payoff. And they also don't blend away like some shadows when you keep blending and blending and then there's like nothing left. So they don't do that, which is awesome. These will probably not replace my favorites, which are the Vizart mattes. I have, I have two of their palettes. But of course, those eyeshadows from those brands are in a totally different price point. So it's kind of like comparing apples to oranges, but if I'm just saying like in general matte textures, this will not be uh, my favorite matte texture going forward or something. The shimmers do perform quite nice, like the ones that I've tried are nicely pigmented. You know, let's talk again about the price because I bought these on sale and they, I think when I just checked now that the sale is still going on, so you can still pick up these palettes on sale. Mini Masquerade is $25, five price, full price. That's still not a whole lot of money actually, $25 for a palette. There's 16 eyeshadows in here. 
I would probably still get this full price if it was $25. This is on sale right now for $18, so that's really awesome. But the Saharan palette, like this one, this m makes no sense to me. This mini masquerade is $25 full price, and the Saharan palette full price would have been $30. So I don't really understand their pricing, to be honest, because these look like the same size shadows. The Masquerade Mini is on sale for $18, and the Saharan Palette is on sale for $15. So then that kind of makes sense. For the sale price, it's an absolute bargain. I'm not sure if I would pay, no, I would definitely not pay $30 for this palette full price. For that, it's just a little bit not enough versatility for me. This green did not perform well. I would buy it on sale like I did for 15 I think that's what I paid. So I think the sale prices I think are fair. I think if they're full price, I would wait for sale to come and buy it. <laughs> I don't really think you're getting as much of a bargain with these eyeshadows if you do pay full price for them. Do you understand what I mean? Like I don't think the quality is that amazing that I think the full price is like totally justified, but for the sale price, I think they are an amazing bargain good quality eyeshadow and you can always find discount codes i use a discount code like a 10 percent discount code that i found on a website so i don't have my own discount code like i said I'm, this is not a sponsored video so i hope you guys found this review helpful and before you click out please go check out my other videos and subscribe to my channel and also follow me on social media i like to update you guys on there thank you guys for watching and i'll see you soon bye